morning, Pastor Steve here. Colossians chapter 1, verse 9, the Apostle Paul says, For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Paul here stresses again the fact that he doesn't take praying for his, his beloved ones uh, in a, lightly at all. He says, I never cease, I always do it. Over in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, he tells us, pray without ceasing. In other words, Keep the mindset that prayers for others is important to God and for the life of the body of Christ. Notice what he prays for them, and I think it should be our prayer for us as well, that they be filled with the knowledge of God's will. Or to know God's will for us, we need to be in his word, his letter to us, and be in, in prayer, be in communion with God. Also, he wants that knowledge of God's will to be with understanding. <laughs> Someone said years ago, you can tell a young child now, don't touch that burning marshmallow, honey, when it comes off the stick. And said so they, they know this, they have knowledge. But when they don't pay attention, and when they grab that hot flame little thing, they understand it. Now they've got five little flames on the end of their fingers. They've suddenly gone to understanding. But note that knowledge is also with wisdom. Wisdom means whew, they're not going to grab that little marshmallow again next time. It's applied knowledge. Ken Crockett writes this. <clears throat> a young man loaned an acquaintance um, $500, but he didn't ever get it back. And he didn't get a signature on the receipt either. And he hadn't paid it back and a year went by. And his, he said, Dad, what do I do? Well, that's simple. Write him a letter and tell him to pay back the $1,000 he owes you. He says, but I loaned him 500 He said, put it down at five at 1000 He'll immediately write back to you, say, I only owe you four, 500 and then you'll have it in writing. <laughs> that's wisdom. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.